Hi everyone and welcome back to FTMO. My name is Nelly and I'm over here giving you the tools and resources to manage your trading psychology on fire. I hope you are doing well and today I'm gonna talk about the true color personalities, about one of the models which reveal who you are and how you are wired. And I hope that all of you who are struggling with recognizing your pros and cons or in general with self-awareness will find this pretty simple theory helpful. Let me talk about who you are and how you tend to react as it relates to your trading psychology on fire. Identify your trading style, identify you. Who are you and what are you doing when you are trading? What I want you to do for a minute is to think about what does it take to do that? What will it take you to ignite you and your trading style? And for me, it's the signs of self-awareness. How aware are you? and what you are capable of doing. How well do you know yourself? In previous videos, I was explaining the importance of self-awareness and knowledge of our strengths and weaknesses. And thus, I decided to introduce to you the four color personalities today, as it will allow you to understand yourself even a bit better. Look at this model I am sharing with you. This model is one of the many that are available in the world. You've probably heard about some and perhaps you've already done some personality tests. And that is great because all these tests and models enable you to be more and more self-aware. Now I'd like you to think about this model for a minute to help you categorize what that unique personality that you bring. Each color represents a different primary personality type and all four colors lay the foundation of a fun and insightful personality identification system called True Colors. So let's have a look at the orange personality, which is optimistic, determined, spontaneous, impulsive, brave and inventive. Those who are orange have a strong character and desire for new knowledge. They are very active, so if you are orange, you probably love a very active lifestyle and excitement. You are very focused on action and you hate routine and too much responsibility, rules and deadlines. If you are an orange trader, use your optimism, enthusiasm and passion for self-education and action and try to reduce your impulsivity. Set your small term goals and stick with them for some time and then you can slightly change it. I know you hate long term goals, you love fast results so don't be too harsh to yourself and set only some short or even shorter term goals and reward yourself for sticking with your plan after achieving these extra short term goals. As an orange person, you know your value and you know that you can achieve anything. You have a strong will, so just push yourself a bit and forget your impulsiveness. Stop ignoring the rules and do not be hot-headed. If you have an orange personality, you are probably struggling with the fear of missing out. So stay tuned, because the next video is gonna be exactly for you, about FOMO and how to overcome it. Maybe you are the type which is rational, analytical, logical, ingenious and creative. You are green. The green people often have a great goals, for example, to save the air. In general, the representatives of the green personality type are independent thinkers who are more often based on the mind than the heart's voice. Green people are consistent and constant. You stick with your strategy. You have a good memory and know how to control your behavior. The key to the green personality type is to manage ourselves and the situation. If they do something, they always calculate in advance what they want, what the result they need and what they can do about it. The spontaneity is not for them. It seems as the green personality is perfectly suitable for trading, right? You are probably very disciplined. You stick with your plan. 
you journal all your trades, but know that maybe sometimes it is good to take advice from someone else. Criticism is not always a bad thing. Try to accept that, be more open to changes and help from others. And now, let me tell you about the blue personality, those communicative, enthusiastic, warm idealists who are also pretty sincere, calm, flexible, and have a great imagination. The most important thing in their life is tranquility, peace, and a quieter way of life. As a result, they sometimes become so relaxed that they cease to strive for something and do not make any decisions. However, my blues, you are strong, loyal personalities, seeking harmony and relation with the world. You tend to be a bit passive and distracted as you live in your head. It can be very difficult for you to follow the rules and meet the requirements. If you are a blue personality trader, you started to trade probably because of that need for peace, that idea of the future with financial freedom. Use your great imagination and enthusiasm. Use the calmness inside of you and once try to manage that indecisiveness and passivity. And you know what? Even your traits, which I mentioned here as a kind of negative, could be potentially your strengths. Look at the passivity and inability to be in conflicts. You don't really want to compete with others, right? You are concentrating only on that inner peace, so you won't struggle with the FOMO as the others may well. Use it to your advantage. All right, guys, now we got the golden personality. Diligent, faithful, trustworthy, intelligent, punctual, stable, caring and committed. Golden people are active, self-centered and love the ongoing transformation. They are lively and enthusiastic people who are constantly looking for something new and appealing adventure. For the golden personality type, the most important thing is freedom, self-realization. They are not afraid of change. They are experimenting with pleasure. If you are a golden person, you consider yourself as organized, you want to keep order, and you would never refuse to do hard and responsible work. The golden people are stable, refined, pragmatic planners. If you are a golden personality type, you are ready for new events, life changes. You want something better, lighter, the gray life is not for you and you are looking forward to the future with great hope. Use this hope, use this dedication and focus on your plan. Stick with your strategy and work hard as you are used to. Please know that you don't have to be strictly only blue personality or only the golden one. We are all unique. You can be a mix of some, which I mentioned today. My goal is to help you to clarify what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses to understand and manage your behavior in certain situations. Have you found this helpful? Have you recognized yourself? And what type are you? Are you orange, green, blue or the golden one? Let us know in the comment section below. Leave this video a thumbs up, subscribe and follow FTMO on all socials. But in the meanwhile, I will catch you on later. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.